I should speak with Hytham. I should talk to Hytham. The Order has been purged from London. For now, they hold no power there. That is good news. And I would celebrate, but for the fact that Jorvik now suffers from the same infestation. Jorvik is a city under Norse control. I should have less problem finding allies here. That is a hopeful way of seeing it. Speak to Ranvi when you wish to travel there. I have something here for you. Tidings that may displease you. Tell me. You remember Kjotve's son, Gorm? He has since taken his father's place in the Order. Interesting. Is Gorham here in England? Is he another blotch on our list? He is one of our targets, yes. But he is not in England. He is further west, in fact. A land called Vinland, discovered centuries ago by an Irish sailor called Brendan. The Order of the Ancients has some recent fascination with Vinland, but I cannot say what it might be. Let me find out for you, after I silence Gorham. Vinland is far away, according to my source. It may take weeks to find him after a long and perilous journey. There is no danger that would cow me, Hytham. I'll speak with Ranvi and arrange passage. Was there something else? I have to go. Then go in peace. I want to see the Alliance map. Have you spoke with Hytham about Vinland? I have. Good. I have marked it on the map with a bit of guesswork as to its location. Let me know when you wish to leave. What can you tell me of Vinland? Is it a real place or merely a rumor? Rumor or not, I found someone willing to sail you there. She claims to have seen it once before. If she's willing to risk her life beside me and make the long journey, I'll take her at her word. Nessa is her name. Meet her at the docks when you are ready to leave. I'll go now and end the life of Gorm Kjotveson, where the Valkyries cannot find him. It is a long voyage, Eivor. Be careful. Survey the area, Sunan. Thank you for this. Whether fur, meat, or bone, we will provide only the finest. And if you intend to go hunting, consider bringing us your kills. We will prepare the hides and heads. Aye. I've been mounting Petra's trophies for years, and she's a discerning woman. In all things. I'll keep that in mind. Enjoy your new home. Eivor, you seem to be someone with a penchant for trophies. I do like victories, but I rarely keep a record of them. Your weapons show the marks of great battles. And you walk with a pride that speaks to your triumphs. Am I wrong? You are not. Why do you ask? To bolster our trade, of course. Wallace is the finest tanner and taxidermist in all of England. If you wish the tales of your hunts to outlast you, there is no better way than making trophies of your kills. If you defeat a rare and worthy creature, bring it to us. We will display it for you. A good idea. 
keepsakes to adorn the longhouse. Thank you, Petra. Oh, and before you go, could you spare a moment for a small favor? Go ahead. For the past few evenings, I've heard the howling of a pack of wolves just beyond the border of our woods. Unchecked, they will ravage the wild game in this area. And once the deer are dead, they may turn to us. You feel we should drive them off? I would eliminate them entirely, with your permission, of course. And your help, if possible. A good idea. I'll join you now. Good. A pack of wolves is a foolish thing to underestimate. Let's go. This way. I last saw them prowling around just up the hill. You lead. I'll follow. Our settlement is in quite a nice spot. Beautiful terrain, and the animals here are healthy and Admitted, populous. Alvis. But wolves are a worry. Maybe why the Ragnarsons moved offer. on. Humans upset the balance of nature, fuck. and nature pushed back. By attacking us. A wolf will do whatever it takes. They were displaced. Now they come to our door. This way. Look here. Breadcrumbs and crusts. They must have stolen something from Tarbin's store, or off a table somewhere. You saw breadcrumbs from where you stood. They stand out clearly from the soil and grass. See there? Come. This way. Ah. Smell that. That's a male wolf. Marking his territory, warding off the competition. How do you know it's a male? A different odor. You pick it up. How did you come to be such a skilled tracker? My family were hunters and trackers. From further east than you've ever seen, I imagine. But I've lived in England for most of my life. This is where we found Wallace. You two are siblings as Sigurd and I are siblings. Bound by honor, not blood. Yes. To hear my mother tell it, we came upon Wallace abandoned, a babe in the woods. We took him in. Look, the wolves made a kill here. They're in the area. Those trails, they must have dragged the poor beast away. We're getting closer. See those teeth marks on the carcass? They're different. This is the pack's doing, not just one. That's right. Let's go on. So, your family found Wallace in the woods? We were traveling through the forest when I spotted a white elk ahead of us. I chased it, hoping to take it down. I lost it as I came to a clearing. And there on the ground was a wee babe, our little Wallace, swaddled and alone. Ah, look at that. The pattern on the grass. They slept here. I am impressed, Petra. You have a raw skill. You have seen nothing just yet. So, you saw a white elk, and that led you to Wallace. That's right. It felt fated. We took him in and nursed him back to health. I was scarcely more than a toddler myself then. And from that day forward, we were raised as brother and sister. Hmm. These kills are fresh. They're likely near enough to hear us. Probably fled the scene not long ago. I think we found our wolves. You there! Get to cover! Eivor, with me. Let's end this. I'm at your side.
There. That should be all of them. Oh, thank, you. thank you so much, both of you. Are you all right? Were those your sheep? They were. God take them. They were all I had in the world. Poor blighters never stood a chance. I lost my cows some months back. Now the sheep are gone. Frowning Jesus, what sort of farmer am I? I'm sorry for your loss. With the wolves gone, you can recover in peace. Not without the blessings of God, I won't. But I shall try. You have your life, farmer. With that alone, you can always rebuild. Ava, hold. I hear something. What? I... Oh. oh, goodness gracious me! Felix! Rosemary! My beauties! You're alive! Come here, my precious angels! Well, that worked out. This was grand, Ava. You hunt almost as well as you fight. Give me a few weeks. I'll learn to track as well as you. Or better. I would be happy to be so humble. This was a joy, Petra. Do not hesitate to call on me the next time you spot any errant beasts. You were the first on my list, Eivor. See you soon. Show me your valor in battle, and earn your place at the great table. Good day to you, stranger. Nessa, is it? I am Eivor. Ranvi said you would be my guide. That is right. Passage to across the seas to St. Brenton's land, is that right? Ranvi called it Vinland. One and the same. It is a three-week trip by longship. Arduous, dull, possibly fatal. Should we survive, you'll be compensated. Eivor, before you go, you must be dressed as a thrall when you arrive. To be seen as you are would raise suspicions. Gorm runs this new camp, and it is a good bet all but a few will be loyal to him. Good thinking. Only taking care of our prized Drenger. First things first, Eivor. My ship, my rules. Second, you follow the rules. Third, if you listen to my rules, you live. Understood. Good. Let me know when you're ready and we'll get going. I'll leave my gear behind and dress the part. To Vinland we go. Hop in. We'll leave now. Three cold weeks on the whale road. Past mountains of ice and kingdoms of stone. Saga lands. All this way to kill a man, Gorn Kjotveson, the son of my father's old foe. What dark work does the Order have so far across the open sea?
someone in charge. I'd better step with care. No friends here. You! You look stronger than most of the others. What's your name? Yora of Jorvik. Yora? As in horse? My father never wanted children. What is this place? Newhofen. A wild place found on no map. Are we settling here? That is not our plan. Too many wild folk in the woods. They threaten us. You ask too many questions, horse. Your task is to keep your mouth shut and do as I tell you. Now, unload that ship and then I'll have you carry those carrots. Hildy! 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 We can't find Olaf. Look, he's ours. Not again. We cannot send supplies to Gorn without his guidance. Ugh! Pull what supplies we have to the nearest camps, then. Gorm's men will do the rest. Let me go. I can carry whatever supplies Gorm needs. That's Olaf's job, horse, not yours. You stick to this port and keep your head down. Ask around about Olaf. Someone must know where he has run off to. If I can find this Olaf, he may know where Gorm is. from Gorm's storehouse? No, it is a rotten place, that storehouse. Have you seen it? <laughs> a bloody mess. If it's a mess, then clean it, dung brain. It beat Olaf bad. Thrashed him and locked him away in the storehouse. You know why? Because Olaf stole from Gorm and got caught. You're not stealing, are you? No, no. Good. Now less whining, more working. Gorham's storehouse. A good place to start. Smashed crates. Somebody crawled off, left a trail of blood. Helge, that fine honey meat you have. Pour me a horn, would you? I had ale for you, Auler, but no meat. What? We had a whole cask. Gorm smashed it over Olaf's head, right there in the storehouse. Thor's hammer! I am done with this place. Send me home, Helgi. I heard Gorm took a strap to Olaf. Yes. The fool stole goods to trade with the Skrellingjar. So Gorm dragged him off to the storehouse for a beating? That explains the mess. This Olaf was trading with locals. Good to know there are other folk around. Someone picked the lock and got away. War was hauled off. Could be a trail. Someone broke through here. Made quite a mess. Could be all love went this way. This 
This trail leads to high ground. Good. I can get my bearings. like leaders. It's worth a try. friends do you do we do we understand one another oya kanya tera keronu jokno hoda tiga de giga yungwe do any of you speak norse or saxon so za de got giga yungwe ya te de wa yanderi ya de yungwe ye ri ze onan tini to di ni gunra di hantos ne ga Giga odzidaa wa onatsi ne giga yungwe tigade nat ne e this is sunen her name means insight yanja dahowe giga tinue oya ganyatara keronu itres danu ahinasku ahoya dagenha toka ahuna darohage giga sunen you made us some friends these huts, the clothes, and my youth gathers still. Waterfalls are places of power in the old sagas. Giga oya ganyata da keheronu protaska. There is a language I know well. But the words are mine sick. Zatunde gantiga, roja datku, zat setsant doga askweni. Tone, era anja da ha wite ne gaan. Then I threw my eye into well. This wisdom sounds like the venting of a seer. Who are you? Olaf, I am. Olaf. Called the unlucky, but don't you believe it? And where is, uh... I promise you will do it quick. What? Do not stab me from behind, Drengur. Like Sigurd and the dragon. Please. I'm not here to kill you. I've come for Gorm. N not, not here to kill me? 
Not today. Oh, stay clear of Gorm, then. He's not a good man, not a good man at all. Why would you need to see such a terrible man? It is a matter of honor, and Gorm owes me a great debt. Let's leave it at that. Oh, good. Yes. Yes, honor is good. Olaf will help you. Olaf will help you so much. Honor is the only thing. Yes, the only thing. I saw signs of a struggle at your camp. Did something happen between you and Gorm? Nothing to speak of. He, um, did not care for me trading with the villagers here. Beat me and put me in chains. I snipped away free. Not so unlucky, am I? Still alive, yes. Still alive. Good. Point me toward Gorm. Not possible. He is away. Far away at the camps in these woods. All well guarded. Might be at anyone. Why camps? Is he settling here? Or searching for something? Searching, yes. Always searching. And never finding. The mean, mean backrot. And how do I find these camps? I can show you. Follow, follow, follow. Olaf, would you tell me something? Anything Olaf can tell, Olaf will tell my new and big friend. Why would Gorm cross the sea to this nameless wilderness? It seems a great risk for so little. Gorm carries with him a crystal that talks. It tells him where to go and what to do. A talking crystal? It is true. The elf stone tells him to seek, and so he seeks. And when it says dig, he digs. Such a mystery. What is he digging for? <laughs> that is a mystery he will not tell. But my guess is the best guess. He seeks the door to Jotunheim. <laughs> One of Gorm's camps. All look like that. All of them. They are well guarded, you say? Oh, yes. By fierce men. Warriors who attack any stranger on sight. Anyone. And they are all well armed. Not like you. As well equipped as a stable hand. <laughs> it does not take much to kill a man. But sharp steel helps. Oh, yes. You are not wrong. I could use better weapons. Olavur will help. Gather ore and hides to barter for war gear. Ore and hides? I can find out there? Yes. Yes! Some in the woods, much more at Gorm's camps. Than traded all with the people here. Easy as a smile. Yes. Yes. I don't understand the language. Can you translate for me? No need, no. We talk with signs. Just walk up to a trader and start trading. Take this. Some goods to get you started. Thank you for this, Olaf. And until I say otherwise, speak nothing of this to anyone. Might be a good idea to trade, now that I'm here. He seems eager to trade goods and wares. God, the Jodadu. He walks with Tigo. Neon Ha, a joy under there.
Manere zino ho da wasserago. O tena ga da za duhun zoni? Ayo was I as I at the gen. I'm off. Be well, friend. I can hike into the woods straight for Gorm. Or gather raw materials and trade for better weapons. in these woods somewhere. One of Gorham's camps. I might learn where he's hiding. Or find some resources at the least. Find you, Gore, no matter how long it takes. <laughs> One step closer.
Attack on sight here. Gorham must be near. His doom has come. 